John Mastodon. Hi everyone, Cypher here. How's it going? It's been a little while and I can explain. I'm being lazy. <laughs> For real though, I've taken a little break from uh, YouTube here and there uh, during the holiday season to give myself some time to recuperate from all the stress that goes on this time of year. But don't threat, I am not going anywhere. I may not go back to a video every day schedule, uh, but we'll see going forward. Believe it or not, making these little silly videos can be stressful, especially when you have to release them every single week and every single day. Eh. <laughs> so as for the topic for today's video, I have left Twitter. In fact, I did so uh, a few months back. I just haven't talked about it in video format until now. <laughs> and the reason I haven't talked about it until now, at least on YouTube, is because I thought that I didn't need to. Um, to be honest, one of the major reasons that I left Twitter is because I didn't do too well there. <laughs> I had less than 100 followers and that was over the course of maybe eight years or so. <laughs> I am not good at the social media, at least not as good as others. Some of that may come down to me, but really I never gained traction on Twitter, so it really didn't serve any useful purpose for me. I actually have way more followers here than I do over there, so it really doesn't act as an advertising platform for me at all. And to be honest, I was willing to overlook this, but Unfortunately, there were more problems that I was having with Twitter than that. Um, it seemed like every day my uh, feed was just inundated with uh, doom scrolling and call out posts and stuff that I really, really didn't want to be involved in. <laughs> it got to the point where it was affecting my mental health and um, in a very, very bad way. <laughs> I had actually thought about leaving Twitter long before the current controversy there. And speaking of the current controversy, that was, in my opinion, strike three and why I left. <laughs> A certain individual, which I will not name in this video, took charge of Twitter and it all went downhill from there. So, uh, <laughs> in fact, it's still ongoing. It's still going downhill. There's still a lot of crap going on, so I'm not even going to cover it in this video, but I'm pretty sure you know what I mean. <laughs> now, do I blame anybody else for actually staying on Twitter after all of this? Not really, per se. Um, I would suggest to uh, spread your eggs out into other baskets at this point. <laughs> I mean, especially if you're running a business right now, it's a very good decision to do that anyway, just in case one platform fails. Uh, YouTube, please stick around. Please, 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 please stick around. <laughs> oh no, my heat turned on. It's the middle of winter, so that's uh, a given, but I'm in this fursuit. <laughs> At this point, I would say um, maybe try to get out as soon as possible. <laughs> now, despite all of this, I do miss Twitter and the way that it used to be. Um, it is still a very, very valuable resource for uh, artists, I think. At least I think right now. I might be going away very soon. At the very least, it was a, a very valuable resource for artists. Most of the fandom was actually on there. Um, I do miss being able to follow anybody that I really wanted to in the fandom. Not everybody has gone on to other social media platforms yet. I will say that I have been thoroughly enjoying Mastodon. I really believe that Mastodon is going to be the future of social media. Instead of being controlled by one corporate entity, uh, Mastodon is decentralized. So that means that it's on multiple servers run by multiple admins. It's kind of like running a WordPress blog, but for also other people, but it's like kind of like Twitter. Um, yeah, <laughs> it has become my go-to social media platform as of late. Uh, a lot of furries have uh, actually gone there, so at least, at least partially. You may not find everybody that you used to follow on Twitter there, but 
for the most part, there are some really, really good talented artists already there. Uh, there are some really good people there, and I would suggest you check it out. And check out my Mastodons in the link below in the description of this video. Do it now. I have a personal Mastodon and a Mastodon that I've thought about using uh, for more a more professional thing for here on YouTube, but I don't know. Um, maybe the personal one is the one that I'll just continue to use going forward. I don't know. <laughs> haven't really used the quote-unquote professional one that much yet. <laughs> one of the really cool things about Mastodon is that you can really cut down on all the clutter in your feed and focus on one centralized topic that you enjoy or topics you can choose to follow any topic that you want any hashtag you can set to uh, follow and those hashtags will show up in your feed the uh, server or quote unquote instance that you um, initially sign up on really does make a difference so make a good choice uh, I've seen a lot of people go to meow.social uh, but I'm actually on there and on another server that's not furry related and the server that's not furry related is, is doing better for me so I'm using it more but yeah all that really cuts down on the um, constant drama posts that I've that I used to see on Twitter all the time every single day what is the new drama of the day find out on twitter.com but anyway that's why I left Twitter I hope you guys understand and that you like this video and that you find it at least informative and uh, I hope you join Mastodon. It's pretty cool. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. 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 Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye, bye, -bye, bye, -bye. bye.